Hi, so I recently posted a video on my channel showing how to use glyphs or special characters that are contained within some fonts and I showed you how to view them using the font book on the Mac and then drag them into the Brother Scan and Cut converter. This video has generated quite a lot of interest with window users and I did say that I thought you would be able to do something similar on Windows but people don't seem to be able to find how to do it. So firstly, let me apologise for the quality of this video. This is the only way I can record this for you. I've managed to find an old Windows laptop. I've installed the font that I'm going to show you and I've installed the font converter. And I will put an information card or a link in this video to the previous video showing you where I got the font from. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up the Brother Scan and Cut Converter. Once I've got that opened, I'm going to find the font that I want to use and it's called Love Moon and I'm going to select it within the converter. Now I'm just going to move that to one side. Now, you in Windows, you have something called Character Map and the way that you find it is you go down to the bottom left to the Start menu, you select All Programs, then you go to accessories and select that then you find system tools and select that and within there you will find this thing called character map and you choose that and that will open your equivalent of font book now it's automatically showing as love moon i think that's probably because i've already got it open here but none of these fonts are the glyph fonts that I showed how to use in the previous video. Now, the way that you access them or the way that I found for them to be accessed with Windows is make sure this box is, is ticked here that says advanced view. In character set, make sure you've got Unicode chosen and in group by, which is here, select the drop down arrow and scroll all the way to the bottom and choose Unicode sub range. That will open up this box here and from this box here, scroll all the way to the bottom and choose private use characters. And once you do that, you can close that box down and it then brings in the glyphs. If now, if now I hover over this letter H, it tells you it's Unicode, but if I left click, it shows you a thumbnail of it. I'm not touching any mouse or any buttons on the computer. I've just selected it and that is showing me the thumbnail. Now, to get that into the converter, all you do is left click and drag that thumbnail and you'll see the pointer changes to a plus on the end and you drop it in the scan and cut converter and that letter is then there. You can then left click next to it to get a flashing cursor and you can just use the keys on your keyboard to type the rest of just the regular type letters. Then if you want to come back, click on the next letter, in my case, this is a Y. Left click, drag that over and drop it into there. Something else I've discovered, you can left click on the first box and then using the directional up, down, left and right arrows on your keyboard, you can just use the arrow, the right arrow and keep hitting it and that will give you a thumbnail that way. Obviously, once you've got your word here, you just save this as normal as you would do any other converter file, you can then open this directly in your machine or within Scan and Cut Canvas. So I hope you found that helpful. As I say, please, um, I do apologise for the quality of the video, but this is the only way I could record it on this old Windows laptop to show you how you can access your glyphs or special characters within any font that you have installed on your computer on a Windows based computer. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.